Hey, welcome back. A question was asked about one of our recent videos where we looked into global font, global colors and typography. It was, could we go into a bit more detail between the difference between EM and REM? Now, EM and REM are very good when you want to create some responsive text for your website because it's quite common for us to use pixels. And I'm just going to show you what pixels are, EM and REM, and how we can try and control them a little bit. Because there's one big aspect, a lot of videos out there, a lot of tutorials and a lot of guides, they touch on the subject, they repeat or regurgitate a lot of information that everyone else has, but they kind of forget to really spell out what is the parent and the root HTML. And if anyone has looked into EM or REM, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So stick around. Hey, I'm Imran, Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe and follow. I hope you share this video if you found it of interest and it helps you understand typography a little bit better. But hey, we're here to help you with Elementor, WordPress and get the best out of it for you, your clients and of course your businesses. So we have at the moment a section with three columns. We have a, uh, well, we have some buttons at the top. Ignore the buttons, that's just me telling you what we've got here. We have header one, we have another header, and we have some text. Header one, header, text, header one, header, text, okay? You will notice that there are different values. Column one has 32 pixels, meaning if I click into this header over here, and I go to, don't worry about the typography, don't worry about the font or anything like that. If I go over to, let me just click it there, into that header, and I go to style, and I go to typography, it is 32 pixels. You can see it there, okay? That is 32 pixels. This is 64 pixels, and this is a text editor, and this is now 16 pixels. Now, why have I gone for 60, 32, 64, and 16? It is not uncommon for a lot of themes and a lot of templates that you will use within Elementor or just WordPress generally, where the basic, um, value for your text is 16. So the basic text, any text you drop in, it's basically 16 pixels, okay? Um, and, the, and there's a reason for that as well in a moment. So basic is 16, so this is your basic text, this is double the basic text, and this is four times the basic text of 16 pixels. Just stay with me on this case, it's all gonna make sense. We then have another column, and this time, rather than using pixel, if we go to the style for this header over here, instead of 16 pixels, we have used two EM, right? So what I'm trying to get across to you is if it, the basic um, sizing for everything is 16 pixels as the basic, you know, this is where we start off with, this is the basic. By me saying two EM, it is two times 16 equals 32, which is what we have, I think about that then, which is what we have over here. We have four EM here, because four times 16 is 64, which is what we have here. And this text over here, if I click it and go to style, go to typography, the EM is one. Can we see that? There we go, we have one. If I had done two, it would now be two EM, which is 32. By having one, it is now 16. One times 16 equals 16. I could even do 0 0.5 right? That is now a pixel size of 8. Because the standard is 16 pixels, 0 0.5 EM is going to be half of 16, which is 8. Let's put it back to uh, 1 for now. Okay, just stay with me on this. Then we have REM. Now you'll notice the REM 2, 4 and 1 is exactly the same size as the EM. Because at the moment there is no differentiation between them, okay? So, re so because the standard is 16, if I pick four, or if I pick, uh, well, four EM or four REM, they're all going to be four times 16, which is 64 pixels. Okay, and if, and if you stare at it, you're going to try and find a difference. Don't bother. They are exactly the same size. Okay, that is the standard. Now, pixels won't change depending on your screen size or whatever you do. So if I say header one is 64 pixels over here, it will always be 64 pixels no matter what screen size you do. Well, actually, it doesn't matter because obviously when you start to go into responsive mode, you can start to just, so if I just click over here, if I go to style, if I go to typography, if I click here, 
you can have a different size for your tablet and your mobile, okay? So when you start doing responsive, I might say, right, on the desktop, this is 64 pixel. On the mobile, I want it to be 50 pixel, right? So you can diff modify it on the fly or however you want. The thing about EM and REM though, is that they will become responsive depending on screen size. Sometimes it won't change much. I wanna just let you know though, sometimes it doesn't change much. Sometimes, depending on the screen size and the amount of content you got, you know, it might suddenly start to shrink or adjust. And in terms of accessibility in this day and age, that can be quite important, right? The key, key question that everyone has though, is that your EM, right, even though the basic value is 16, your EM is controlled or determined by the parent HTML. The REM is determined by the root HTML. And this is the thing that gets very overlooked in a lot of guidelines and tutorials out there. Where the hell is the parent HTML and what is the root HTML? Okay, what is the difference and where am I gonna find them? Let me try and answer that right now. If we click over, well, I'm not gonna click anywhere here. I'm gonna go over to the hamburger and I'm gonna go, it's actually over there, and I'm gonna click on the site settings. Now, I don't need to worry about the global colors and the global fonts. The global colors is defines the color. We're not touching that. The global font is gonna define the standard font. But again, we're not touching that. Okay, because your global font, I'm sure you've realized now from my previous video, does not affect the size. It affects the font family. So you might pick Roboto or Arial or Helvetica or whatever you wanna go for, Montserrat, you know? It affects that. We're worried about the sizing. If I go to typography, right, you know that you've got body, link, header one, header two, header three, header four. If you want to set a default size for header one, header two, header three, whatever, you can do that here. Or what you really want to be doing is just touching one parent HTML. And if we go over to typography and we go to body and I go, actually it's over here. I don't know why I keep pointing there if it's over there. If we go to typography, right? I'm not gonna touch the family because it's not gonna make any difference because that's controlled by the global font. If I go to the size, okay, and I type in here, watch this, okay, watch this. Nothing happened. Why? Because I've just put the same value as the default value for the theme, okay? Nearly all of them are gonna be 16. So I'm saying the size, the pixel size is 16. Right, so now it's no different from here. However, header one over here, 2EM is two times 16. This is four times 16 and this is one times 16. So I'm looking at the middle column, by the way, okay? So we haven't changed anything, but watch what happens when I now change this to be 10. Ah, what do we have here? This now is actually 20 pixels, right? Because it's two times 10. Over there, two times 10. The line underneath is actually 40 pixels, because it's now four times 10. And over here, we have one times 10. So if I was to go over here and change this to be 10 pixels, it is gonna match that. Let me prove it to you. Let us go update. Let us now close this down like this, just like this. Go over here and let's just change this to be uh, 10, right? Just to make my point, look, that is now the same size as the text in column two. Let me put it back to 16, All right? Are we clear now? So the EM, the parent HTML, that is actually touched and messed around with by site settings, typography, body, right? Body. So if I go into here and I change this now to be uh, five, look at that. The two, the four, and the one are all in relation to the five. So the two is now 10, the four will be four times five, which is 20, and the one times five is five. But I could also do this, right? So now the two EM is two times 50, which is 100. Let's just put this back to 10, okay? That is how you set your baseline. So you're now saying the baseline is 10 pixels and everything else, all of the EMs are in relation to that. Remember, when you're doing this, you can use decimals. So I've put two EM, it could be 2.1 EM, which would be 2.1 times 10, which would be 21 pixel. 
Okay, so you can be a bit dynamic and creative with what you're doing here. So that is how we touch the parent HTML, but the REM has not changed. The REM is still static, even though I changed the body typography. Now, if you want to change the REM, you've actually got to add in a bit of HTML code. If you've got Elementor Pro, you can drop this um, anywhere you want. If you haven't got Elementor Pro and you're using Elementor Free, what you need to do is go back to your theme, go back to the customized CSS and drop in a bit of code. We're going to do that right now. Appearance in your WordPress dashboard and customize. OK, you go to additional CSS. Every theme will have this, right? And you drop this bit of code in. And I hope you can see this. And again, it will be in the description. HTML, curly bracket, font size, colon, 16 pixel or PX, semicolon, close bracket. OK, so there's the code, right? That's all it is. And at the moment, I've dropped that in and it's made zero difference to the content on the left hand side. Look, watch what happens when I take it away. No difference. Add it back in again. No difference. No difference whatsoever. But what happens if I go over here and I now type in 10? Look at that. It now matches column two. So typography was 10. I should point a bit. Typography was 10. And now the HTML value that we've entered there now controls the REM up here. But if I change this to be 20, right? Now, header one, which is two REM, is two times 20. Header one, the next one, is four REM. 4 times 20, which is 80. And the text we have over here, that's going to be 1 times 20. It is 20 pixel. So by me modifying and putting this code in here, that is the root HTML. And by doing that, OK, and here's the other key thing, OK. Now, when you start to use REM anywhere on the website, so if you say 1 REM for the padding, it will now do 20 pixel because you've now said the, the, the size is 20 pixel, OK? But in terms of text, typography, which is what we focus on here, and I'm just going to change this now to be, um, let's just go for 12, just so we have a slight different sizing there, OK? Let me publish that. Pixel stays as pixel until you mess around with it. EM is controlled by typography as your parent HTML, and the customized CSS, where we put a HTML of font size 12, is the root HTML. Now, I have found that I am now leaning more towards REM. I used to use EM quite a bit, but REM seems to be more favored by a lot of people. There are, there's gonna be arguments for using EM, REM, you know, back and forth. Some will say, no, I'm gonna stick to Pixel. You kind of have to find what works for you. If you care about responsiveness in websites, you gotta go for EM or REM. I'm leaning more towards REM. I hope this helps you understand a little bit better how you actually control the EM and the REM. Where's the parent HTML and where's the root HTML? And if not, I've probably confused you 10 times more than I really wanted to. But I hope that helps and it answers some of your questions. Hey, like, subscribe and follow. Please, please share this video. Share it everywhere you can. Let everyone know about this because this stuff you need to know. Because if you don't know, then I don't know. But at least you know now. Take care and I'll see you soon.